they've really been working the past couple of weeks and have made a lot of progress. Those sheets of plywood will be the floor for the attics. Things are really starting to take shape now. So that's where the door for the laundry will go. Nice big doors into and out of the kitchen. Really looking forward to having a nice big kitchen as opposed to the little efficiency kitchens of apartments. Nice parlor. Parlor, I mean pantry. That pantry is bigger than my kitchen in my apartment. That'll be swell. They've been getting the joists all done and nicely braced. The attics will provide a nice addition to storage capacity. The bedroom dome attics, of course, will be larger. Not a whole lot of room up there, but in each one of these, I can probably fit, oh goodness, at least a dozen, maybe two dozen storage boxes full of stuff. They might get to install the, the windows next week. That will entail taking these temporary walls out, putting in the permanent walls. They're three foot by five foot windows, bring in a lot more light, of course. Plumber might get in here next week, start getting all that work done. The island will be there, that's electrical conduit, stove will be in the island. 
water over here. Sinks, guest bathroom right there. Family bathroom here. My bath, well, this is the laundry, of course. My bathroom there. I really like these. Nice, sturdy. What are those called? Lintels or something like that? I don't know. Forgot about the closet that goes right there. Can't have too much closet space. Today is, what, September 25th? No, that's tomorrow. Today is September 24th. But I got my first invoice from the local combined contractor yesterday. Owie! I had hoped to be, they would start invoicing me last month. I prefer smaller amounts on a more regular basis, but the new combined company is that invoice was too small for them. So they went ahead and put it off until this month. I get hit with a sizable sum. I have just enough cash to cover that, but my bank gets cranky if I take too much out of my money market account. So, called up my broker and uh, had him dump the corporate notes, the fixed income assets. They weren't going anywhere. That will augment the cash I've got. But, of course, we're right in the timing band for a market crash. And uh, Gary Savage, one of the guys I follow, is expecting a 1987 style crash. Could happen. Let's put it this way. It's probable. Not certain, but of course probable. Sometime between now and the next um, 12 to 15 trading days. So, I had already sold a, two tranches of Boeing stock, and since the first of the year, Boeing has come way down. All of this is inherited stock, and so all, that's, all those sales are for the IRS's purposes at a loss tax purposes, but would have preferred, of course, to sell them at a much higher price. It is what it is, but with the retracement or crash, or as I prefer to think of it, the compression event likely happening now, going into the next few weeks, I'd prefer not to have to sell anything for a month or so. We'll see how that works out. Thank the mother weffers, as Cliff High calls them. Oh, hello, squirrel. What? I already put out nuts for you. Why are you yelling at me? Uh, Stellar Jays, never satisfied. 
Ah, there's a squirrel getting at the peanuts I left earlier today. Hello, squirrel. Oh. Stiller Jay wants to get in on the nut action, I see. Okay, well. I'll leave them to it. Gray, the rabbit, his black girlfriend and black offspring were out here earlier this morning. Said hi to them. Now this, that log on top there, that's dogwood. And actually that's an interesting wood. So I'm going to pull that off and maybe turn it into something. There are several good stumps in there that I want to take and distribute around the place as feeder stumps for hemlocks. And um, of course the rest of it I'll put through a chipper and then compost. But yeah, as, as Cliff High calls them, the mother weffers, the World Economic Forum, Kazarian Mafia, those people. They've really been screwing around with people with the COVID nonsense. And, um, killing off who knows how many people with the jabs, the death shots. This used to be thick right here with alder trees, but then tent caterpillars came in and just wiped them out. When I was a kid, growing up south of Seattle, we had scads and gobs of alder trees, and Dad paid us a nickel each for all of the tent caterpillar colonies that we collected. And we had a nice, healthy stand of alder trees. So, once I get moved here, I don't have any peanuts, guys. Oh, the Stellar Jays are following me. <laughs> Once I get moved in here, I'll be going after the tent caterpillars anytime I see them around here. But I planted five redwood saplings, seedlings really. Three of them have survived. That was about four years ago. And the challenge has been to keep the deer away from them so that they don't get nipped down before they have a chance to get too big and sturdy for the deer. This is a deer trail here. They hang out in the draw down there. Should have asked the concrete guy when he was cleaning out his um, drum on his concrete truck to dump that on the driveway, but it'll get crumbled down eventually. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the driveway yet. Plenty of time to figure that out.
course, as I said before, up here is really going to be mostly for pedestrian, for guests, the front door. Yeah, people will be able to drive up to here. I expect that there will be some grass and lawn here. That'll be fine. I planted a lot of clover and uh, with a very dry weather. It persisted fairly well, but as I get moved in, of course, I can water. Of course, the deer also hang out back there. Also, sometimes back behind the mound system, which I'm irate about because it's uphill from the septic system, so it has to be pumped. The liquid, the water has to be pumped into the mound. We do have power outages here and so I will have to have a alternate means of electrical energy to keep that going. Along of course with the well and other essentials. I had been planning on, oh, one of the squirrels is following me. I had been planning on putting solar panels over on the other side of the dome there, where I just walked through. And I might still do that, put some there, but really, except for emergencies, Except for emergency power, solar panels are very inefficient and ultimately the energy return on investment is low. So I'm going to seriously look into getting a diesel generator. Stellar Jays are cranky because I'm, I'm not putting up peanuts just right now. Ah, never satisfied. They're fun. A lot more fun than the starlings that uh, mess up the cities. The guys have really made a lot of good progress the past couple of weeks. Oh yes. Between one of the guys and my sister, I was persuaded to paint the walls. The ceilings, including in here, painted a flat white. The walls, I was thinking a cream white for the walls, but my sister prefers gray, so okay. Put a nice gray paint on the gray concrete and one of the things that Joe pointed out is that This rough here is going to be impossible to keep clean. It will accumulate dust like crazy. And so 
It's like, okay, I guess I'm going to need paint to smooth that out. But things are taking shape. Progress is being made. Ah, uh, yes, today is September 24th. Rod Van Mecklen, signing off for now.